Hi everyone, hopefully this is working again. Yeah. Um, right, so this is our second vid for the second lesson. So we're looking at iteration, so it says show that, so part A says show that it can be rearranged as that. Right. Okay, so how am I going to do this then? So a lot of these rearrangements can, can be really easy to spot, some of them not so easy to spot. Uh, minus one is equal to zero. Thought somebody else was going to come in there. Look at this four x plus one, how it's on the top on its own. So I think that's a good place to do to take over the four x plus one. So x cubed plus x squared is equal to four x plus one. I'm divided by an x plus one. So let's take out x plus one as a factor. So that will be x squared, x plus 1, is 4x plus 1. So I'm just trying to kind of build it out, and I can divide through. And then I'm just going to square root it. There. Now... There we go. So the idea is with a note of the subscript is x to the power n plus 1 is my next one. That's my next x. Whereas x to the n is the one I've got at the moment. There. Right, part b. So part b, you notice how this has changed. x1 is 1. Because that picture from the other one that's come off a, a different exam board. So x1 is equal to 1. Right, I'm just going to get my calculator up. In my run menu, put in the first value. So let me just delete all this out so you can see it all. So 1 equals. And then I'm going to put the equation in. But I'm going to replace the x's with ands. So shift root fraction, four lots of ands plus one over ands plus one. That gives me the next value out, which is root 10 over 2, uh, 1.58113. So I'm just going to write that down. It's going to take it off the board now. 1.58113. There. And then I'm just going to press equals again. 1.68455. Then I'm going to press it again. 1.6978. Why do we do the same accuracy? 779, isn't it? Uh... Oof, I wanted two decimal places, didn't I? So I've been too accurate, but I think it's always good to put down something that's a bit more accurate. So 1.58, 1 1.68, 1 1.70. There. So then it says, by choosing values of x in a suitable interval, prove that 1.70 is okay. Right, so I need to look at the bounds that round to 1.70 to 2 sig fig. So because it's two decimal places, sorry, I need to look through DP. So that would be 1.695 through to 1.705. So those numbers will round to 1.70. So I've just gone one extra. I've gone like five either side, haven't I? There's an extra. So I'm going to check the Y value for 1.695. And the calc says it's minus 0.037. And then I'm going to check for 1.705, and the calc says it's 0 0.0435. Well, the completed pattern does anyway. Whether that's true or not, who knows. Uh, so let me change the colour. I've got 4 minutes 40 left. Oh, it's not working now. Anyway, let me pause it a second while I put a, a thing on. Conclusion. A few seconds left, so I've just wrote that down. So f the function's continuous and the change of sign. Right, I'm going to run out of time. Just copy that down. See you later. Bye-bye.